this is Josh Taylor with Trade Advisor Pro, and I want to thank you for checking out our video today. Now, before we get started with today's free Forex training video, I want to give you a chance to pause this video right now and go to our website. Trade Advisor Pro offers you free Forex training, free Forex training videos, and trade alerts. And folks, you do not want to miss our trade alerts. We send out a bunch of trade alerts every month that are top rated in the industry. We send you our exact trades right to your inbox. Pause the video now. Go to TradeAdvisorPro.com forward slash free, and all you have to do is register, and then come back to this video, and we'll be sending a lot more goodies to help you with your Forex trading. Enjoy today's training video. All right, all you happy traders in Forex land, I hope everybody's doing well. Today's short video is very short, and it's basically going to answer a question. I have a lot of customers ask me um, what charts that I use. I'll show you some of my charts. See how nice and clean these charts are? Oh, now these are Fibonacci Trader SRV charts. Um, these charts are $55 a month. And I'm going to show you a little bit because we have a lot of customers that we have switched over to these charts and absolutely love them. It's just easy to read. And I'm, I'm going to tell you right now when you're trading off the charts, which you obviously need to be trading using charts. Uh, if you're not, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> um, but these charts are very easy to, to see. I love. Some people like different candle colors. You can change the background to white, and then the candle colors you can turn, continue to keep red and green. Uh, some people like uh, black and white. I like red and green. Red green means price went up for the day. These are these are daily candles, and red means price went down for the day. So I want to show you how to set up um, a chart using Fibonacci Trader um, SRV for Forex. Okay, so basically, when we go here to chart, um, if you don't have a lot of charts, if you're just setting up the software, in fact, they offer a, a free demo. You can try it for 15 days. You should you should give it a shot. In fact, the link, if you're watching this on YouTube, the link is underneath this video. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to put the link in there. Just go to FibonacciTrader.com, and you can see the link. Tell them Josh Taylor sent you, and uh, they would be happy. But anyway, when you're first getting started, you want to set up new symbol, okay? And you're going to choose the symbol that you want to trade. Let's say it's the um, the uh, Aussie CAD, right? So we have there's the Aussie CAD. Let's just say Euro US dollar. So I already have the US, Euro US dollar in here, so I'm not going to set up another one. But you would literally type in Euro slash USD, and you would click OK, and um, <clears throat> you're good to go. And you can actually adjust the number of pips here to match your broker's firm. So if you have a four pip spread between your buy position and the position for your, um, in other words, let's say the euro is at 1.3000, but your buy position on the euro is four pips, um, you can put four pips in there and it will, will help you calculate the spread in there so you can, so you can, so your charts are matching what your broker's, are, your broker's, um, platform spread is. All right, so you can push OK and then it'll set that up. But now I'm going to push cancel. Then you would go into the charts and you would say new chart. And we're going to scroll down to we find the Euro USD. You click here. Now I trade only off daily charts. I do not trade anything less than daily. I do look at weekly once in a while. I do not trade anything less than, than weekly. But I had a customer ask me how to set up a one hour chart. So when you're selecting your time frame, if you want to do daily, you just click daily. But I want to show you something here. You see here, as soon as you click daily, it says daily, weekly, yearly. Okay, so what it does, or monthly, I'm sorry, monthly. What it does is it always cho chooses your period. This is the period you're going to do, and then next, and then the highest. So what we're going to do is uncheck this, because we're going to do a 60-minute chart. So we're going to say 60, and then when you push tab, um, it should automatically, it didn't do it in here. So you want to, you want to do 60 minutes. Then we're going to do 240 minutes, which is four hours, and then daily, okay? And then it's going to boot up, all, it's pulling all the data out. And in the meantime, let's do a four-hour chart as well, okay? So we're going to do a 240 minute, then daily, and then, then weekly, right? You go from lowest to highest, highest. You had to set it up that way. You click OK, and now we've got two charts open. I'm going to close this. I'm going to show you these two different charts. Now... We've got the hourly chart. So if you spread this down a little bit, oops. So you can break this, zoom this out. You can zoom this in. 
you can move this up and down a little bit to help squeeze everything in a little bit better. And now we can see, uh, see how clean these charts are, beautiful. You can start easily drawing out patterns. Now you can, now you can start trading off of the, the hourly charts, okay? And you can see, like you start drawing out your support and resistance line, you click over here, like, like over here on the price line. If I wanna look at what a price is like to here, like I would put a stop above a swing high, I would do that and I can tell, I can write it down. When I wanna draw a line, I click this one. Ah, nice resistance point, a really kicking support level. And you can see it right now, price is consolidated over here. And you can see this mini range that it was been trading over here. Actually, this was over the weekend, or actually last night. So anyway, that, so that's how you put together uh, charts. I'm not going to close that out. Same thing with the EURUSD 4-hour chart. There you go. All right. So that's how you use charts with, uh, that's how you set up new charts with Fibonacci Trader, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's training video. If you have not done so already, stop this video now and go to tradeadvisorpro.com forward slash free and register absolutely free for free Forex training, free Forex training videos, and free Forex trading alerts directly to your inbox. Go to the website right now and register for free. All kinds of goodies for you. Thanks a lot.